Hi everybody and welcome to this video about creating and using a name in Excel. Working with names helps you to work in an efficient way with Excel and the great advantage of it is that they are easy to remember and they actually say with which kind of data or value you are working with. So you can use them to make a drop down in a cell or you just use them in your formulas uh, so they become much more understandable. So please watch the video and learn some new things about names. So I made this sheet to demonstrate some things about names, how to make them, how to use them. Um, the first thing I want to show you is how to make a list with a name. I can make a name on, in two ways. I can select uh, these four cells. I want to make a list of the products. Um, you see here it says B16 because that is the active cell. Um, in this box, in the name box, I can click and type um, products. Now I made a name of the products. You can open your name manager in the formula tab. I click name manager and I see my name. And I also see where it refers to B16 until B19. So this is this list. Um, I can also uh, delete this one. Yes. And show you the other way to create a list. I can select these cells and I can click in the formula tab, define name. And I can give it a name. I will say again, products, okay. And when we check the name manager again, I see again the name products. So that are the two ways to create a name. I can select it and type it in here, or I can select it and click define name. Um, now I made a list, uh, a name of the products, and I want a list here from this product. So I can select the cell, I can say data, data validation, a list, and it is products, which I made. Now I can click the cell, I get a drop down with the four products. I can click one and it says melons. So the next thing I want to do is make a name of this whole table. The only thing I need to do is select all the cells, inclusive the headers, and I click in the name box and I type table and press enter. And we can check in the name manager, it has made the name table. Now I use this uh, name to make a VLOOKUP function to look for the sales price. So I type V look up and the lookup value is the melons, the table array. And this is here where the name comes in. Um, I just type table, just three letters and Excel already suggests this name. I can click top and you see it's lightened up in red. So it works. Uh, the column index, is the second column because I want to look for the price and I want an exact match so I click false. You see it looks for the value, uh, the price of the melons. So I can change this into apples and I see the apples price. Um, same thing for the number of sales. I can type again V lookup. The lookup value is Again, this one, I can say the table area is table and this time I need the number three for the column index and I don't, I want an exact match. So this is the number of sales of apples and I can change this again to melons and now I um, have looked up these values. Now I want to, um, to calculate the turnover 
using this sales price of this product and the number of sales of this product. So again, I can make two names. I can give this single cell a name and I will give it the name um, sales. And I will give this one the name number. And what I can say in this one, I can say is sales multiplied by number is my turnover. And I can format it as a currency. And you see the turnover here. Well, that was using uh, two names in one formula. I can also um, give this one uh, the name fruit, for example. And now I can also use, instead of C8, I can use fruit as my lookup value. I can also do this in this one. And you see it's still working. I want to show you another thing, and that is uh, how to make, uh, in a quick way, uh, a lot of names out of a table. And uh, for that, I again select my whole table. And now I can say in the formulas tab, in the ribbon, I can say create from selection. And when I click this, I get this menu, and I can... Um, Tell Excel uh, where are my uh, row headers and uh, column headers. Uh, well, the top row is my header and uh, the left column also. But um, in this case, it, um, it's not necessary to um, say your left column has headers because it doesn't. So I can also only say it is the top row. I can click OK and now we can check the name manager. And you see there are a lot of new names. Excel made a name for the turnover uh, column, the number of sales column. You see it here, turnover, number of sales, the price and the product. So when we did that, um, I can also calculate the total turnover using the made name turnover. So I can say is sum of the turnover and again I can format it as a currency with my short key control shift 4 and then give it the right currency well you see this is a sum of all the turnovers I can check it here 8,263 and it's also here. So using that name, which I might automatically selecting my whole table, I can create a, a sum of the turnover. Um, and the last thing I want to show you is that you can also search for cells um, with a name. When I am uh, down here in my sheet and I want to uh, go quickly to the um, product. I can get a uh, drop down here in the name box and I again click products and it's selected in once. Well, now you could say, uh, why should I uh, use these names? Because I can also um, calculate the turnover by saying I want to. Uh, multiply C9 by C10 and then I also have the turnover. Um, yes, that's true and it's also quick, but um, let me show you this uh, formula. Um, here it says multiply the number by the sales. So for me it's um, very clear this is a turnover because it multiplies the numbers by the sales. When I see this, I don't know if this is a turnover because it is C9 multiplied by C10. 
So this formula speaks for itself what it is calculating. And also here, what am I looking up? I look up the fruit in the table and I want the second column. So this is saying much more than when I uh, typed, I want to look up uh, scene eight and uh, B15 to E19. So this formula also speaks for itself what it is doing. It says it's looking up the fruit in the table. And that is the uh, big advantage of names. And also when you need to create a lot of formulas, you uh, don't have to look for the uh, references in the sheets, uh, what cells uh, did it where. Uh, you can just type the name and a name is uh, much easier to remember than uh, some different uh, cells. So thanks for watching this video about creating, using and working with names. I hope you will use the names in the future when you work with Excel and see the advantage of it. If you like the video, please have a comment or give it a like. And also if you have any questions or have some suggestions for our next video, please note it in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and get updated about new videos. Thanks for watching.